Hello, this is Matthew Klukas. I am back for another software architecture, this one skills demonstration 4, where I'm testing the design specifications of a new information system based on provided code we have, which is this and this. Um, with this, I'm going to go uh, through test case with them. So I've got my prepared um, template of what I'm gonna do. Um test with design by Brent and then Maguire. Don't know at what date uh it's executed by me, Matthew Klugis on the date of the twelfth of the second two thousand and sixteen. Um so I'm gonna jump right into it um and explain um I'm gonna get rid of them to explain what I'm gonna go through to. Um, the code we have is well, the first w test one is to find the average, test two is to find the max and the min. Um, so I'm gonna say test number one is fi find average. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make the much larger. And a bit bigger as well. And go to. Um, gonna make C a bit smaller. And B a bit smaller just so I can fit everything. And go through my test case if I. If I take my cell and I insert. Um, I want to insert rows to it. Well, I'm just gonna type it out actually. Step one is. I'm going. Step one is oh, there's a problem with that. I want to start in the corner. Uh, step one, step one is insert um uh, insert um my f my four numbers. Step. Uh, uh, how do I do this again? Uh, Excel, not my f not my favorite to work with. I'm gonna just insert, cancel. I'm going to change. I'm going to change it so that's not gonna be as long. I'm just gonna use three different things to say what my steps are. Step two. It is well. I don't actually need another one. Just I'm just insert my values, and the system will do the rest. Test data is I'm testing. Um, I'm testing the average method. So I'm gonna say test data is. Oops. Oops. Yeah, because my mouse is disappearing, so this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be. In, I'm gonna use the the arrow keys to now demonstrate because I can't find my mouse at the moment. Um, test data is. F I'm gonna use the uh, numbers four, five, 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 and five, which should input uh, if we average get us a five. Um, Let's run that and see if I can find my mouse. Uh, in my corner, you can see uh, the program running. It says enter number, so I'm going to enter 5, 5, 5, and 5. And it gave me 3. 3 is not what I wanted. Um, so I'm going to say 3. Status is fail. Because, well, it failed. Excuse me. But, um, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna do another one. To see, sure. So maybe maybe our fires are off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do test two, which is also find average. It's also steps. It's to insert my phone numbers. And this one I'm gonna use ten, four, uh, f six, and. 
another four. So if you add them up, I'm gonna grab a calculator just so it looks like I'm not just and type in ten uh, plus four plus six one plus four we get twenty four and then divide that by four. So it answer should be six. So I expect the answer is six and uh, let's check it in our code. So I'm gonna restart my code. So I said I said I said the average uh the the, the latest ten four six and four and I'm getting the average of three again. That that is not that is not what I wanted. So so that there is a problem and I'm going to go through this code and I'm gonna uh, open up a Microsoft doc uh, document that I have ready and give it a title of notes of no, I'm gonna make that a proper title it's a bit hard when I can't see my uh, mouse and do it do it so my notes uh um, I'm gonna make them a bit big, so I'm gonna make it about 20. Um, test number, and this is gonna be one. So I'm gonna, uh, oh, so it's gonna be test number one, test one, uh, notes. I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna have bullet points actually, so it makes one sense. Oops, it's hard with when your mouse isn't there. Um, I'm gonna go into the clips and start looking at what I see as the problem. So there's obviously a problem with uh, how our machine is going about it, and so we're gonna go through it. Static scan is fine. Ints are fine. It's in our average method here. That number two is being sent twice, so I'm gonna record that. I'm gonna actually minimize that so I can pull. I can comment while I see. So number two, num two, it's being is being sent twice. The average method. Um. Which skews the skews the the results? Oops. It's b uh, by foregoing uh, num num tree uh, and inserting itself. So it's no it's number twice so that's what's the problem at the moment so I'm going to change that to number three and run the whole system again so just so I can I can see if that makes a difference to my answer so I'm gonna go back to my my job uh, gonna go back to my test case number three gonna find the average again my steps are to insert my four numbers and my numbers are gonna be nine uh eight five and seven twenty two two. Um my expected outcome is well it adds up to twenty four, so my I divided by four six. Uh let's see let's see what I get. Let's see what I get. Now that I've changed some of my code, so it's nine. Nine, eight, five, oh, and two, and I'm getting averages three again. So it's obviously more than just that problem. It was obviously more than just two being used twice. So that's another fail. So I'm gonna go to through my code again and see exactly all the problems. Excuse me. Um. So, let's go through. We we fixed the average problem there. Um. The 
uh, methods fine there. Um, Orient total is fine. Here is our problem though. We are initializing um, int i at 1 instead of 0, which which means that we're in an array which begins at 0, 1, 2, 3. We're missing value 1, so I'm going to note that. Uh, uh, for, uh, for I had the problem of initializing what uh, I equals one. What is it? I is equal to one. Where? Oh, where it should should have initialized it at zero. So now that we have that problem out of the way, um, let's see if that fixes it. So another one, like, and I know this seems tedious that I'm going through the same steps basically. This one's gonna be four, three. Uh, two and five nine nine and four four um, and three. So that's equal to twelve divided by four is three. Oh no, that's gonna be right because well, I don't know if that's gonna be. Uh, I'm actually gonna change these because that. With with the way our data has been going through, I wanna I wanna get a number that's higher than three. Uh, five, six, seven is eighteen, <laughs> and six. So it's twenty four again. Answer's gonna be six. And then and then and and then we're, I'm gonna go through. Uh, I'm gonna run my program again. So my answers were five. Up. Uh, that was my mistake, I put a comma in. Um, 5, 6, 7, and 6. Hey, it's working. So I got... I got 6. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's a pass. I'm not feeling the best, so I've got a bit of a cold. So there's my, um... There's my average working, yeah. There's only one problem I'm also spotted, which is we're dealing with the method average. So we want to find an average. And my data points and stuff. Um, but the problem is we're using av uh, the int uh, data type when we should. If we're dealing with averages, we we should be able to get a, a decimal. So we should be the, uh, int. Uh, uh, method should should be using using double the, the the data type double because we want to be able to get a da uh, enter first off let the user enter in um decimals and uh, average to be able to get decimals because it's just rounding down on if if that's the case and that's wrong because it will generate a wrong answer um should be uh, the data type double instead of int i'm i'm not gonna change that because that's gonna take me a bit of time i'm gonna move on to our second test case and this test case so is test case is so it's, it's test case number uh, my fifth, my fifth, like one. This one is to find uh, max. So, uh, step uh, step is step one is to well, if we look at the code, is to find max. It's asking us to give them four numbers, so it's exactly the same as what we want. Set my four numbers. Um. And the rest is like this is what I'm running, and then in the computer, it's it's it is doing something else. It is running 
it's on pistol. Uh, I'm gonna, so I wanna find the maximum number, the biggest number. So I'm gonna enter 10, 5, 3, uh, 2. So my answer should be 10. Because 10 is the biggest number. Um, let's run this. Let's run this system. 10. Um, let me let me check what my numbers are. 5, 3, and 2. 10, 5, 3, and 2. I'm getting 0 on both. Because my color runs both of my maximum at the same time. So I'm getting 0, which is a fail. Now, this is glaringly obvious that there's a problem here. And I'm going to address this problem. Uh, I'm going to go through the problems more so than another test because these oops, uh, these problems are, are much worse than our average. Our average only had a few problems that were causing it to um, give out the wrong answer. This one I think has a few more. Um, so running through we're given the right values the, the input they're inputting what they want. Uh, in our find max, we have int a, a, b, c, d, so the numbers add no, but we're, ni we're initial okay, so we're initializing at zero, um, and then we have a for loop running, so a for loop is running, um, and it's going from int up zero, so it's zero, uh, is, I think it's the greater than, well, uh, than my length, but it's actually facing the wrong way, it's if, Oh, it's no, no, it's the other one. It's yeah, huh? Yeah, uh, that's right. It's in the if statement actually. That that should be the other way, because it's saying if max is greater than my array, make max equal to my array. Well, it should be if max is smaller than my array, make max my array. So I'm gonna run that. Uh, I'm gonna see if that has helped in any way. Uh, fix max. So it's six. Fine, max. Fine, max. Steps are to insert my four numbers. Uh, I'm gonna use the same. I'm gonna use ten, nine, six, and uh, three. My answer should be ten. Let's see what we get this time. Oh, so we're get, I'm entering ten, nine, six. And three. Um, the it, the min is zero, which we haven't looked at, but the max is ten, so we have fixed the max. Um, so our actual answer is ten, so that's a success. I think I spelled success. Oh, I should just use pass as well then. Uh, so, so I'm gonna go to my notes and um go to t t test two notes um, and input start new uh, that's not continuing on from the other one. Oh god this is going to be hard to find with my banji mouse whoops uh, restart numbering so in the method max uh, I think it's fine, Max. Um, the if sta statements uh, statement ha yeah, it's the if statements uh, symbol. Well, uh, symbol was the the wrong one, so I changed it. Um. So, so there's my max working. Now we have to go to min. Uh, min has a few. So let's run it. Uh, it's number seven. Oops, We're all the way back over there. We're at number seven. It's fine. Min. The steps are insert. Excuse me. <coughs> I have a bad cold. Uh, there are steps here to say there are four numbers. Uh, I, 
and, and it's gonna find it's the smallest number. Well, that's what the computer's gonna do. So we have, let's say we have 10, 5, 2, and 8. The smallest value in them for is 2. But the answer we're getting is, well, as we've seen from the other two, at other tests we've won, so it's 10, 10, 10, 5, 2, and 8. 10, 5, 2, and 8. Um, and it's given us that our uh, min is 0. Which, which is wrong. Which means there's something wrong with it. I mean, uh, so there's something definitely wrong with it. I mean, um, I'm gonna go through our uh, code again and find where it's going wrong. Uh, so Max, so right, we're going to a mean private static void. Find mean. Fine, fine. Here is our problem. We're initializing the value of in at zero and then we're going through it. So okay we're initializing at zero, remember that. Go through our for loop, our for loop is alright. It's uh if statement is alright because if main is I'm not good with uh it's in is greater than my array oh hold on. I I'm actually gonna go uh, Google search this because I am bad with symbols. I'm the bad if main is greater than that. Yeah, I knew it was a greater than so if min is greater than my array dot length uh, I um change min equal to it. Uh we also have we also have the problem with this that were oh, I think there's a call I, I wrote this by accident earlier. Um when I was trying to do my my another uh, I was trying to do this software demo and I made uh, my camera wasn't working, and um, so there's also this there's problem here of eyes being added twice into it. So it's going. I'm gonna just kind of take that there because that's that's also making it so, uh, I plus plus and I hate that I pl uh, it keeps capitalizing I I plus um. I don't know how to fix this. I plus 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 is be is uh being entered twice, which means it's it it's going instead of it's going um zero two four instead of one two three four. Um. So, so I'm gonna just fix that because that's that's a minor. That's like I'm just gonna comment, uh, delete that, and then go back to my other problem that I was mentioning. That main is being initialized at zero, and as we're running out for loop, no number is smaller than zero. So a uh, main will can never change. Um. I mean, can never change f zero. Um, and a uh, number can't be smaller than zero, so there's something wrong here. Um, so, um, so I'm gonna initialize at zero just to make or uh, that hundred just to see if that makes a difference. Um, then we're gonna go. And uh, check if that has worked. So I'm gonna go eight. Fine, man. F man. Step is to insert our phone numbers. That's air step, but the machine step is to run it, uh, run the method, find man, and go through it that way. So I'm gonna have maybe like 14, 3. Uh, eight and one, and I expect value was one. Let's see if this has worked, or if there's still a problem with um, intra uh, initializing. So I'm gonna go fourteen, three, eight, one. 
Hey, it works. So that was a prob That was one of our, that was our glaring problem. So it's worked. Uh, so it's passed. So there we have both of our. If you can see from our clips, both of our cuts running. Um, uh, so then, I, did I enter that as an R? Um, that we were initializing our main at at zero. So, um, so we're initializing at zero. Uh, because we are, uh, we are. There's not. There's not gonna be a smaller value entered. So it will always be zero. Not. So I changed that. I'm probably gonna get a problem with having. Uh, declared it at a hundred, but this was just to check where it's got. Uh, it's not to fix every problem. It's just to check if if I have the if I have a larger um, initialization of main that um, the, that that was my problem compared to where uh, having it at zero was. So I think that's all my problems with. Uh, but man, I think I don't think there's anything else that I've uh, like that I can generally manage. But if I go through it and try and find another one, um, I don't think I can see another one. So my test cases have been done. I c my 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 code is working at the moment, but I shouldn't have done this. But uh, the developer would have done this, but um. For the sake of this demonstration, I had to change it so I could see some differences. Um, so that's me, Dawn. I'm signing out. Bye.